So what does dry mean when it comes to beer or wine? Well, to understand what dry means, we first need to understand what sweetness is in beer and wine. When you have beer or wine, they're both fermented products that come from some kind of sugar being fermented by yeast and converted into alcohol. There are lots of different types of sugar. Some are fermentable by the yeast and some are not. So what happens is, as you have more of the unfermentable sugars that carry through to the final product, you're gonna end up with more sweetness in that final beer or wine. So if you try a beer or wine that has a lot of residual sugar in the final product, it's gonna taste very sweet. Things like imperial stouts, sweet red wines, or cocktails that have mixers or juice in them would have more residual sugar and have that perceived sweetness. But if you have something with not a lot of residual sugar left in the final product, this would be something like champagne, hard seltzer, a light lager, then what happens is as you drink it, there's not as much residual sugar left on your tongue after you're finished drinking that beverage. And so your mouth actually dries out a little bit. And this is where this perception of dryness actually comes from and why these beverages are considered dry.